Diagnoses SAT class. As you can see, we have several people that have joined us today that are not quarantined, they were able to come. And so um, none of them are wearing green, unfortunately, so they are probably going to get pinched. I hope that you are wearing green today. Luke is our cameraman. He's wearing green and so he's okay. Anyways, um, this is just gonna be a quick short video on a few things. Main thing I want you to do is I want you to read page 276 through 279. It's very good examples in there and it should explain it probably better than I can. I do want to go over the basic idea here. Um, you can pause the video at any time to get these written down. I'm going to move right through them. The first thing is x to the 0 equals 1. The truth is that anything 5 to the 0 equals 1. It doesn't matter what's here. It's always going to equal 1. For this one here, when it says x to negative 3 equals 1 over x cubed, it's also true that 1 over x cubed is equal to x to the negative 3 over 1. So you can see that when you go move it from numerator to denominator, it's going to switch the sign of the power. Same thing here. If you take x cubed and the bottom that's positive, you switch it to the top, it's going to become negative. Um, I guess I need to show you one where it's negative on the bottom. Let's say you had 1 over x to the negative 3, then that would be the same thing as x to the third over 1. Again, when it moves, it's going to switch signs. Okay, so um, let me do one more with that. Let's say we had 2 to the negative 3. That would be the same thing as 1 over 2 to the third, which would be equal to 1 over 8. All right. Second thing is this, when I say the square root of x, that's the same thing as saying x to the one half power. So if I had 81 to the one half power, that would mean the square root of 81, which would just be equal to nine. Sometimes I want plus and minus nine, but for right now, I just want you to know that's equal to nine. The way that you read this is this says, this is the fifth root of x to the third power which is the same thing as saying x to the 3 fifths. So to show you an example of this, let's say I had 32 to the 3 fifths power. What you want to do to solve this is you want to take the fifth root of 32, which is 2. So I'm doing the bottom part first. It's the fifth root of 32, which is 2, which means that 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is going to give you 32, which is why it's called the fifth root. And then you're going to take it to the power of 3 on top. And 2 to the third power is equal to 8. So the answer to 32 to the 3 fifths power is 8. So that's a general coverage. I want you to read the rest of this in here. And then um, if you have an iPhone, I can FaceTime with you if you have questions on one. Um, and I also, if you have questions on your work, send that to me. And um, I will show you what I did for it, and then you can compare it. Hope you have a great day, and do your homework. Bye.